Welcome to a Starter and a Chaser podcast with your hosts, Joe Clark and John Passo. You know, all this dark sorcery is getting me down. Let's do some life-affirming magic. You know, some sleight of hand. Oh, hi. Welcome to another episode of a Starter and a Chaser podcast. I am John Passo. I'm Joe Clark. Joe, we have a beer that's down here and not up there. We do. Yeah, so let's change that. We have from the Brew Kettle here in Cleveland, Ohio, their... Hot nuts. Stout. <laughs> Stout. Stout. Joe's Stout. favorite. <laughs> Joe's it has favorite. Coffee and hazelnuts. Yeah, that's pretty nuts much stouts coffee. with coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a good morning or whatever. Yeah, well, you know, it could be. So the brew kettle, uh, they actually have three locations. I believe they started down in Strongsville originally. Uh, they actually, unfortunately, don't have much information on their website about the history, but I know Jack Kippert was the brewer there at one point. And yeah, they have three locations. This beer in particular is joe said imperial stout it's 11.5 percent abv Ooh. 28 ibus nice and uh it's a collaboration between heggs nuts and uh hoof hearted coffee uh who is uh, they're another kind of like akron cleveland ish brewery oh that's cool in yeah nice and they're now doing coffee <clears throat> cool so nice. i think we should crack it open. Yeah, oh, I can't you, wait to oh, yeah. get the Hot smells nuts. on. Yeah. So Joe's going to take the, uh, the tulip. I'm going to take the teku glass. And we're going to see how this one is. Is the teku glass technologically advanced? It is. It was originally developed as a sensory analysis glass. And now everybody uses it just as like a regular kind of everyday glass. Okay. Now, nice. these Teku glasses I found are best when they're filled this high. Okay. But everybody fills it up all the way, so, you know. A bit more for you. Oh, starting to get a little chunky. I'll throw a little chunks into mine, too. We'll even it up. Nice. All right. Joe, what are you getting? It is chocolatey and coffee-ly. Coffee-ly? And... Is that a word? A little nutty. <laughs> He used a nut. What? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, he put nuts in my beer. Little malts to it. It's, it's kind of light for when I'm used to stouts being at 11.5%. Okay. It's, it's, it's kind of almost light looking even when pouring. Yeah. Like, kind of yeah, thinner. Yeah, it didn't, didn't um, seem like it had the Not syrups. like syrups or anything like that. Uh -huh. You can kind of tell in the glass here. Mm -hmm. um, it's not as powerful on the nose that I'm used to as some of the Imperial stouts either. So you get those notes, but they're not like really heavy. Okay. So okay. it'll be interesting to try this. Yeah. Uh, do apologize. Our mascot has uh, got the zoomies. He's being a little, little Could loud a there. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so let's dive into the Brew Kettle's beer here. Cheers. See how it goes. Well. Oh, yeah. That's an Imperial Stout. I... The nose does not transfer to the palate. It okay. The nose mm -hmm. transfers to the palate, but it seemed very light on the mm. nose. On the palate, it is it's powerful. Big. This, this is, is how an imperial stout should drink. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. um, this is this has got that hmm. boldness that you can tell is high alcohol without having that heat. The eleven point five yeah. is extremely wow. well integrated in this, but it's got that that rich malt character that I associate with high gravity beers. I'm going to go back for a second. <laughs> I'll go back for my fourth. No. <laughs> I'm going to Oh, check. yeah. <laughs> That's got hazelnut, roast coffee. Yeah. But it's not like a burnt No, cup it's a of like, um, it's almost like having a French. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's almost like <laughs> having like a smoother <laughs> French roast coffee. Yeah, um, yeah. It's it's not like uh, some of these coffee notes I get in these Imperial Stouts, I would equate them to like a uh, more of your um, bittery American style coffees that you, your co more common coffees. Yeah, um, yeah. But this is more of like that smooth, silky kind of French roast coffee that I actually have at work right now. Yeah, it's like a really high... Um, high quality mm -hmm. hazelnut infused coffee mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it's got some nice roasts that aren't 
too aggressive. I mean, it's it's roasty, chocolate? but chocolate, Baker's chocolate. Oh yeah. Um, I need to go back for more. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Slightly caramely malts up front that yeah. move into molasses. A little bit of some fruity esters in there. I'm getting like just these hints of tropical around the okay. edges of everything. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, for me, it's very chocolatey, coffee roasty. Uh, it's it's more of a baker's chocolate, like John said. Um, there's some sweetness there to it. Um, the the coffee notes are really nice for me. I'm really enjoying the coffee notes on this one. This drinks heavier than it feels, if you can understand that. Um, I can't. It's not. So help us it doesn't out. feel heavy in the mouth, but it drinks like one of those imperial stouts that is heavy on the mouth. It's very concentrated flavors. Okay. <clears throat> so it's got that boldness to it, but with a light mouth feel. It's weird. It's it's almost like the mouth feels like you're drinking a light lager. Huh. But. I wouldn't quite go that far with it. I, I but would, are you man. This is really, really thin. Yeah, it's thin for so. a stout for me. Hmm. But I'm okay with it because the flavors are incredible. Like, this is dangerous, though. Hmm. Like, some of those uh, uh, syrupy imperial stouts and stuff like that, they're really okay. heavy, kind of tame me on drinking. Like, I, I sip it slower, I could chug this. Oh, This is dangerous for me. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. So... What, what would your final thoughts be on this one? This is freaking fantastic. Okay. It's fantastic. All right. I love that it's local, too. It makes it even better, but yeah. it really is. Taking that out of it, I'm not trying to say that because it's local. Beefing. This is very, very, very well-crafted beer here for me. I agree with Joe. This is, this is probably the best Imperial Stout that they've produced that I've had. <sighs> And I'm a fan of their, you know, their Tunguska Stout and uh, all the other ones that they do. They do big and bold really well. They do IPAs really well. Um, this is, I don't agree with you on the thin body. See, for me, this is this is a, a solid medium body. This really? is not lager for me. I, I, I think I tend to gravitate to these really thick ones yeah, I find so all I the think time. Your, your bar might be set a little high yeah, for okay. the standards. Okay. You know, he's he's like worldwide stout, you know, yeah. <laughs> from Dogfish Head. He's like, dash that's stout, you it's know. Good, yeah. <laughs> so compared to that, yes, this would be thin. <laughs> but uh, I feel for regular Imperial Stouts, this is a good solid medium body. It is what what I think is the most impressive thing about this beer is it is so well balanced. Oh my god! I mean, it is. it is just like hazelnut and molasses and tropical and coffee and it's just like it's all so enjoyable and I keep wanting to go back for more. It's very drinkable. Hats off, Brew Kettle. Yeah, this is fantastic. It's it's like a trickster for me. It's it's kind of light on the nose and powerful on the flavors it's so good nice. it's so good i found a new stout that i love i need to have more <laughs> yeah. he's ruined he's yeah. just gonna keep collecting <laughs> <laughs> yep it's all downhill from now buddy hey man sorry <laughs> well if you have had this one and you think it's light body leave a comment below and if you think it's heavy leave a comment below we want to know what your side is and what is your favorite local Cleveland brewery. Is it the brew kettle or is it somebody else? We want to know. Hit subscribe and uh, we will see you next time on a Starter and a Chaser podcast with another episode. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Drink safely and mm -hmm. drink styles. <laughs>